We've been talking a lot about the um, uh, the hand positions uh, the last quite a few years actually um, and because they are the, the most important key to utilizing the, uh, the cue show. If you're only using it with a fist or um, like shoot though, you're missing out on uh, a lot of potential. Uh, and it's not that one way is better than the other, but there is potential and you have to be ready for any situation. As example, we've been talking uh, recently about the, the tiger, the black tiger and the compression compared to the concussion of the white crane. Now, if you're adapting to the, the concussion, okay, uh, that's fine, okay, you'll get great results. But if you want to get a full arsenal, you also want to do the compression of the Tiger. So if you get in striking, you, you've got your um, efficiencies, you've got your potencies, you've got your dysfunctionality of the opponent. All right, if you get into trapping or grappling range, the concussions become uh, much more uh, difficult to accomplish. Uh, they're stifled a little bit, but that's where the beauty of those um, the 6G hands is because they're within one to three inches that you're going to be utilizing and affecting the nervous system. You don't have to take a, a, a full punch across the, the spectrum of your body uh, distance or the distance between you and your opponent. You are able to like get your hands on the person and pop in a, a technique on a nerve. Uh, so it, that is uh, even more efficient. But when you get into the uh, concussions, you're going to need these six hands. Okay. Now one of the hands that I really want to get into is um, the, the blood pool hand. Now if you look at it, it's just a bent hand. Some people think it's a striking aspect, which it can be. I mean, it can be white crane. You can go into the, uh, the brachial plexus and through here. You can, go, of course, go into the eye. You can hit into the throat. doesn't have that much uh, power, though, because this action is going to be stopped by the muscles a lot. All right. You also have the action of this, this position here. Okay. Now, this could be equated uh, to uh, the way the monkey stands on the ground or the gorilla stands on the ground. Now, a long time ago, uh, there was a Mr. Thompson on the YouTube channel asked me to go into the white ape um, aspects that's uh, mentioned in some of the older texts. And I'm really not into the ape. I don't study it well. Uh, I'm just working more with the animals of the Bubishi right now and uh, the Pungai Noon system, which is the crane and the tiger, as you know, from the Bubishi, and also the dragon from the Pungai Noon. All right, so those are my three animals that I'm studying and um, trying to make sense of, put in a synergistic hole for uh, you out there watching. Um, so we're gonna use this more as a, um, a ballistic tool for the crane, okay, whether it be the fingertips or the, the, the hitting in here. I've shown you the concussion uh, in the Wing Chun film using this like guy called a Fu Xiao because that's Fu Xiao of the Wing Chun. All right, and getting into that, that um, negative striking aspects as well. But what we're gonna do um, uh, this time is we're gonna describe this, this kind of striking, okay? Now you can get into the nerves tissue very well. I mean, if you're striking onto the jaw, you don't need to tighten your fist because that restricts your twisting action and that kinetic energy. Holding your hand open, you can transfer it a, a lot easier, transfer it a lot easier going forward. So a, a punch, you're in a grappled position where your hands are on the person, and then you can just pop into a nerve. Um, that These hands, they have that quick rotation, uh, the quick torque that I had mentioned many times on the website and in the videos in the past. And it's that quick rotation that gets a quicker, more sure, more direct blast of kinetic energy transferred from your hands and your body kinetics into the opponent. And that's what makes Q-Show work the best. And that's what brings the Obishi to life. A lot of these targets that are, are uh, pointed to uh, in the Bubishi are very difficult to attack with um, the open hand. Uh, you can't palm them too well, you can't shoot through them too well, you can't punch them too well. You need to get more penetrating weapons and that's what these 6G hands were. They were originally called the hands of Shaolin. So it goes back way into antiquity and it was what many of these styles, animal styles, were based on. So it's worthy of your study and a worthy of your at least thought and um, you kind of try it a couple times I mean in the dojo you try um, and keep your hand close to a person and you punch them with your arm okay and see what what, what effects that get you then just transfer in with the, the, the wrist and you'll understand that there's a, a power potential far beyond what you had with your arms especially in that close trapping range or grappling range that um, 
the Tiger excels in, and uh, we can also uh, use the 6G hands to get the crane or the concussion actions working with. So um, just uh, again, another little idea for you to work with the blood pool hand, and I hope it helps in your studies. You see this in many different arts, from the Wing Chun, where you have the Fu Xiao, you have it in Praying Mantis, you have it in the Hanchi, which the, the hand was just closed up. Uh, from praying mantis, um, the, the Nahanchi being a, a synthesis between praying mantis and springing lead length set, uh, the Tantui. Okay, so um, all these little factors, as you see, as they progress through time, the hands begin to start closing into the fisted position. And as I mentioned on the meeting of the masters uh, video that I did for you, it could have been a conspiracy in uh, helping people uh, disseminate the karate to make it more popular, more famous, uh, good for um, students to learn, to uh, invigorate the body, strengthen the body, prepare them for battle if they were going into war. But at the same time, not sharing the secrets or not getting the potencies that they could use back against the old masters, okay, or even getting that family secret since it was going to be mass adopted. So um, a little bit more in the blood pool. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, please, as always, write them below. Um, I'll answer them hopefully with a video. Uh, that way we can get a little bit more transfer of um, information rather than just writing out a sentence or two on the um, the comments. So uh, again, please ask your questions. Thumbs up if you like these um, these short videos. Uh, also subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.